uh, I have DJI products. I have uh, uh, the Osmo Pocket, which is a little bit cheaper than this, but in some ways uh, better and in some ways not as good. I like this one a lot better. This is not gimbaled. The Osmo Pocket is has a three-axis gimbal, and the video on it is perfect. It's beautiful. It's smaller than this is. As far as well, the length is uh, taller, but the the camera itself is very small. And uh, I'm going to use them both. I had mine had a problem. It was within the 30 days. I sent it back to DJI. I'm getting a new one sent back to me. It'll be here on Monday. And today is Wednesday, so another couple of days, and I'm going to use them both. Now the reason I have both is because I purchased the Osmo Pocket on Amazon got it sent to me I used it someone said hey you have hissing in your in your audio in your videos uh, there's some hissing noise so I checked it out when I'm sitting in my van uh, nice and quiet yes I do get a hissing but not all the time so I don't know when it's gonna hiss and when it doesn't so that's no good to me other than that the camera works perfectly so I contacted DJI and they said no problem we'll send you out a shipping label you can ship it back and we'll just replace it for you. No no fixing, we'll just replace it. I had emailed five times. They would not send the, the label. I kept saying, send it, send it, send it. They would not send it. I don't know why, but they just didn't send it. Then they told me that, oh, the reason we're not going to send it to you is because you have a post office box. UPS will not deliver to a post office box. We want a physical address. So I gave them a physical address and waited and waited. And still nothing. So I contact. I decided. Well, I bought it off Amazon. I'm going to uh, contact Amazon and see what they say. They say no problem. You're within the 30 days. We'll ship. Uh, you can. We'll ship you out a, a label for shipping, and we'll credit your account with a Amazon gift card. No problem. So I said, how long will that take? They said maybe a day or two. So that evening I went on email. There it was. It said here you have your uh, refund. I went online, sure enough, there's my refund, my Amazon gift card, I could spend it on whatever I want, and I figured, well, do I want to buy another GoPro, or uh, uh, do I, uh, do I, excuse me, do I want to purchase another uh, Osmo Pocket, or what? So I thought about it for a minute, and I said, well, I checked it up, and the Osmo Action was on there, and it does the same kind of video, beautiful, so I said, well, I'll buy that instead. So I paid $260 for the Osmo Pocket, and three hundred and ten dollars for this so I had to pay a couple more dollars out of my pocket so after I got this one ordered then I figured uh, DJI sent me a label to send it back so um, the email from Amazon from Amazon said we're gonna give you your, your, your refund and by the way you can keep the product we don't want it uh, dispose of it uh, do whatever you want with it just keep it so I figured Hooray! What I'll do is I'll send that back to DJI. They'll give me a new camera, and I would have gotten the Osmo Pocket or this action camera for nothing, <laughs> which was great. So my new camera, my new Osmo Pocket is in the mail. It, I'm going to pick it up on Monday, and then I've got this one. So I'm going to use them both now. So that's the deal behind uh, the action uh, and I and the Osmo Pocket. All right, guys, here we have the Osmo Action Camera and the housing for it. It's on a mount. The bottom doesn't have a mount on here, so you have to put the camera in uh, some sort of housing to mount it. Uh, if you're going to put it on, I put mine on a tripod. It has um, the buttons on the top are the same as the buttons on the camera. Uh, let me just see here. The buttons on the camera on the top here. This one here turns the camera off and on. This one here takes a video or takes photos. Uh, the back is a touch screen back. The front screen is not touch screen. And, oops, it has removable lenses and you can put different filters and stuff. The side button here on top is for to switch the uh, video from front to back. Uh, that there is a little door that goes on here. I've got it off right now because I like to put in this cable here onto a uh, USB uh, charge port. 
uh, so I can carry it around. Uh, the SD card goes in there. The bottom, there's uh, two locks for the battery. This one here unlocks that side, and this one here unlocks this side. The battery comes out. It's uh, uh, waterproof, so you have to snap it in. Put the door on here, otherwise water would get in here. So you got to make sure that the door is on there and it's waterproof. Okay, so the reason I have the housing the way it is is because I like to put it on a tripod and then I take the little door. If you leave the door on, the, the it, it can't open, so you can't put a uh, power pack on it. So you just slide it in, close the back, make sure the little door is off so you can put your power pack on there. Uh, all the buttons are available. And uh, it has two different kinds of mounts. It has one mount for uh, a round lock mount and a square lock mount, which so you can lock it on uh, whatever you want to, um, whatever you want to. Okay, so let's go through a little bit of the menu here to see what we've got. Uh, first of all, to turn it on, you press this one over here, and it comes on. Now I have voice commands on, which I'll turn off in a little minute, uh, in a minute here, just because if I start talking about it, it'll uh, do things you don't want it to, like start recording. So there, it starts recording all by itself. You can tell in the top right, or top left, it's recording right now. I've got 101 minutes left of record time. Uh, RS for rock steady. It's in voice command, and the battery, how much you're left is in the battery. Down in the bottom here, it shows that I'm shooting at 100, uh, or 8 one hundredths of a second at ISO 3200, and it's set for automatic. 2.7K at 30 frames a second, and I'm in video mode. Stop recording. And it stops recording. I think it thought I said start recording. Stop recording. Stop recording. Screen switch. Now it made a funny noise there, like a whoo, and it went to the screen on the front. Screen switch. Back to the so I've got to turn that feature off. So let me just uh, turn that off for you here. Hang on. You pull down and go voice command off and scroll back up. Okay. So now let's do a little bit of menuing things here. Like if you swipe from the left to the right, you will get um, your videos or your or your uh, photos, and you can uh, go through them. I've got one of six, so I've got six up here. I can erase them. It tells me that this one is five seconds long. Uh, I can like it, or I, it tells me what it was shot at. And there is a little bar you can't see here. There is a little bar, which means you you sh you slide the screen from that way. So you slide the screen that way, and it goes off. If you slide the screen from right to left, you will get automatic or manual modes. Right now it's in manual mode, ISO 3200, EB is zero, um, and we are one eight hundredth of a second as far as shutter speed. So if we go to auto, it's, it will automatically adjust it. So this is what the, uh, the little icon here, the gear icon, is uh, you can set to manual and auto. The bottom is for uh, when you shoot. It's in right now auto white balance. I can click on that and I can pick underwater mode or a custom mode or whatever I want. Uh, color. Color is on normal or decinelink. Now, decinelink is a lot less colorful because then you can uh, do some color editing in post. So we'll go to DCineLink because I like it in DCineLink anyways. The bottom one is a D warp, which means uh, buildings and things that have crooked sides will now be straightened for you, and it's um, much better. It'll shoot in MO, MOV or uh, MP4 mode, and you just touch the screen and uh, that comes back. So that's a left and a right uh, swipe. Let's swipe up. We're in video mode. Let's swipe up. Uh, here's where we get to do our frames per second and um, 
what we're shooting in Elegant. The top right corner says Rock Steady. So Rock Steady is on, but it's not available in all modes. We swipe across, so I can go down to 720p at 240 frames per second. My goodness. But Rock Steady is not on. Rock Steady is not on in any mode in, at 720p. So if we come across to eight, uh, 1080p, we're at 200 or 240 frames per second. Rock Steady is not available. Come down to uh, 120, it's not available. 100 frames per second is not available. But I think in 60 frames per second, 1080p, Rock Steady is available. And then it goes down to 50, 48, 30, 25, and 24. And if we swipe across the top, we come up with 2.7K at 30 frames a second. Rock Steady is on, and you get all the different uh, frame rates there, too. Um, uh, you can come across, and you get 2.7K at 4.3 resolution. Don't like that. More like a box. 4K at 30 frames a second. Rock Steady is on. Uh, up to 60 frames a second at 4K, Rocksteady is on. I like to shoot at 30K, uh, 30 frames per second unless I'm doing something. And you can also go up to 4K at 4.3 resolution, and Rocksteady is not available. So I like to shoot at 2.7K, 30 frames a second. And now you can swipe down. If you press on the bottom little uh, icon here that looks like a video now I can change what kind of video I like because we're on video mode I can do time-lapse video and I will put some uh, video in there of time-lapse then you can shoot regular video then you can shoot HDR high definition uh, range uh, video a rock steady is not available with that with for some reason I don't know why that shouldn't be and then you can do slow-mo and I'll show you some slow-mo and slow-mo can be done in eight times or four times uh, speed. So really slow, like slow or really slow. So we'll go back to video mode, photo mode. You can set uh, AEB, which is auto exposure uh, uh, balance. It'll do several shots, like uh, three or five shots, and it'll adjust the exposure. If you do five shots, it'll do two above whatever the uh, e, uh, the value is set at, uh, the exposure, and two above, and one right on it. And then you can do in post, you can edit it. Then it has just your regular single shot, then you have burst shot, and then you have a timed shot. You can set your time for however many seconds you want to take your shot. Let's go back to regular photo. A custom is you can set up uh, different uh, presets like you can set it at 2.7k at 30 frames a second 2.7k uh, at 60 frames a second and save those presets so you can quickly change from one to the other or set it to 4k 60 frames and then you can uh, use the preset and quickly jump from one to the other the little bar at the bottom here you can't maybe see that that means to swipe up to get out of that now swiping down from the top gives you a different menu completely the top left gives you those uh, presets. There is none set right now, but I can get a preset, and they would all be stored in here, and I just click on whichever one I want real quickly to change to the different modes. The thing that looks like a sun there, that is to change the brightness of the screen. And the lock, of course, locks the screen so that if you're shooting, you don't you touch the screen by accident, and uh, it turns off or whatever, it turns on, or you don't want that to happen so you can lock the screen the top right we'll come back to that in a minute because it's another whole menu the bottom left says auto which means when I turn the camera either sideways or upside down uh, what you see on this screen will still be the right right way up but if I turn the camera upside down and video the the video will be upside down but what I see on the screen will be right side up next one over is uh, for spot metering, I can spot meter wherever I want to, uh, over here, over here, whatever I, whatever I want to do, spot metering. I'll turn that off. This is the voice 
uh, when you have voice commands, you can use the voice commands. And this icon here is for the front screen. I can have it full screen or partial screen. We'll put, put it on partial screen and we'll have a look and see what that shows you. It's got a small screen in the in the center there and then the text is in the black area so that you can read it a lot better. So let's go back and let's turn that particular one off again and then let's go to front screen and see what the difference was. Now we got a full screen on the front and the text is on the screen. So I leave it in full screen all the time. Okay, let's bring it to the back. Now, we have this, uh, which here has a lot, in this menu has a lot more things. Uh, you can do the voice control. Now, in the voice control, you can either turn it on, you can have English, and here's the command list. It either has uh, start recording, stop recording, take photo, screen switch, and shut down. So those are the commands that they have for the voice recording. Then we have a snapshot, which means when you turn it on, the next time it'll it'll go to whatever you you can have it set for the last setting, whatever the last setting was, that will come on, or start a video right away when um, when you turn it on to come to a video mode, go to photo mode, slow mo, uh, time lapse, HDR video, burst, timed, or uh, auto exposure. Uh, quick switch that turns the front uh, you can have it go to videos real quickly HDR uh, mode quickly slow motion quickly time-lapse photos I so can turn these all on or off whatever you like there uh, you can do the wireless connection you can do wind noise is either on or off the sound is either high medium or low uh, the face-oriented uh, exposure, which means it looks looking for your face all the time. It has a grid. The anti-flicker is set to auto for me. Uh, the screen auto-sleep is like a screen saver. I've got it set to never. Uh, auto power off in 10 minutes. Uh, you can set that to whatever you like. The LED all on, which means there's uh, one in the front, one in the top, one in the side. You can turn the LEDs all on or all off or some on. Then it has the language you want and the date and the time. You can format your SD card and you can set everything back to the factory setting and find out about the system, what your serial number is and what have you. And that is the um, modes as far as the screen goes. So now I'm going to show you some video on uh, Rocksteady with Rocksteady on, with Rocksteady off. We'll do a time-lapse video, and we'll do a slow-mo video. Love the slow-mo video and the time-lapse. It's beautiful. Uh, and then I'll do a comparison between the action camera that I have, the old action camera, which is a, a $70 camera, not very much. It has steady cam in it, but not very good. I use um, a great big uh, three-gimbaled, uh, let me just see if I can show you this here. A three gimbaled, um, it's called the Jouen, uh Smooth 4 uh, gimbal, three, uh, three axis gimbal. Um, that's what I use for my action camera. It's a little bit big, whereas you can see the size of this, and you'll be impressed with the uh, rock steady that it has. It's just incredible. Um, like I said, I can't compare with any other cameras because this is the one I own, and I don't own any other ones. I won't pay for a, um, a GoPro, they're just too much money, and this one here gives you excellent uh, rock steady um, video uh, for the price, I think. Okay guys, here's a little bit of time lapse, uh, one and a half hours to shoot this uh, section here, you can see the cars going by in front, but I like with the uh, sunset coming into night. I could have went out somewhere where it's a little bit uh, better for light and not so much traffic, but that's okay. You can at least get the gist of what's going on for the time lapse. And then for the auto exposure, this is uh, slow mo at eight times speed, uh, so it slowed down eight times. 
it's uh, really slow. It would look good for like, uh, I don't know, certain things, waterfalls, water movement, uh, waves and stuff. So I just turned the camera upside down and uh, videoed my, uh, walking. The video would be upside down. I had to turn it right side up in order to get it. And then this is uh, four times slow-mo. Uh, so it's f four times the speed of slow motion. Or sl slow motion four times uh, slowed down of normal speed. Okay, here you'll see top left is the SJ5000 with the three-axis gimbal. And the other three shots are with the uh, Osmo Action Camera. Uh, take note of the uh, rock steady one, bottom uh, right corner. It is just simply rock steady compared to the others. <laughs> 